Swider getting a start here tonight. Back and down. He's only got three to shoot. And a bigger front line for Seton Hall. And down on the corner, Miles Kale nails the standpoint as they go to a matchup zone this trip down the floor. Kevin Warren says that Bob likes being a, a facilitator. They also said they haven't worked on any kind of or a lot of different zone defenses. Yeah, and that is switched back to man to man out of it. And Gillespie. Confused going over a little bit just then. A little look of a matchup initially. What do you from a guard's perspective? What are you running? How do you think it through? And they had each other in a big way over the last several years. Games are always competitive. Generally come right down to the wire. And it will be interesting. The guys in the studio talking about, you know, conditioning and legs and who's going to be stronger. It's one thing to say that for the first half, but how does it end up in the second half by going over in the half-court sets? Bryce Aiken, who's getting more time now after missing time early in the season for Seton Hall. And he missed seven games early on. Nothing there defensively. Good drive. It's going to be real interesting, Scott, to see what the shooting percentage looked like for Villanova tonight. The way Roden's shooting the ball, why not let it rip from long range? Samuels. They're very good at the release pass when they recognize the defenders will touch out of position. It's a long spurt without yeah. getting a breath. Yeah, gotta, it really is. I was just thinking the same thing. You got to wonder if Villanova's going to start feeling that. Is swipe. That's both of these teams very, very patient, especially Villanova, who just doesn't turn the ball over. Caleb Daniels into the game for the first time. He's back after a nursing a cap in front. Samuel. And they switch back, and a reach-in foul going to go against Caleb Daniels. So you give him a couple of dribbles, Scott. If you're going to let him dribble to set himself up three times, that's just way too many for him to get his body against it. Like any layoff has really affected them so far. Little give and go. Second guy through also. And Robinson Earl missing that one. It's generally 100% effective. Oh, my. So Mamu telling us that he can step away a little bit. About 32% on the season shooting at long ball. And look at Seton Hall's numbers. Four of four. Villanova not far off at five of seven. Kevin Willard said you don't want to get into a shootout with this team in eight and a half minutes. By and large, well played and clean. Mabu on the turnaround. Pace. You would assume that Seton Hall is going to try to push that pace at various times throughout the night tonight. Pressure out front there. Slater wants it. He got his own rebound. He's strong for more. That rebound does not belong to Slater. Yeah, good rebound there by Mamo and also with Samuel blocking now so he could catch it right off the floor. You know you do a good job there. Uh-oh. Uh, Seton Hall defense stepping up and really getting in the jerseys of the Wildcats. And that leads back and forth we go. Nice step in. Slater. Running out three on two with Gillespie with the shot taken a pretty look at him. This team generally does fairly well in the win, win column. Seton Hall is 10 for 14 from the floor here in the first half. Shot clock down to five. With a time in his basketball career, an electric scorer. Up it. Off the scramble for the loose ball. Good job of adjusting defensively by going over. Yeah, this is a little choppy to stop. Hey, that's a double trouble line. Yep. This is some time over the course of his career, though, due to injury. Robinson Earl catching two. Everything. The looking points to lead all scorers. And the Pirates by two. Villanova's hot 
shooting hand has cooled significantly here late in the half. Okay, he goes to his right a lot. We can do that too. Game percent to Seton Hall here in the first half. Samuels. The bigger problem for Gooley would make. Six in a row. Seton Hall trying to press an advantage right. Here's the guy who's making things happen. You look at him. Bamu just stepping way outside and letting it go too. Here's another one. Looks like the same exact shot, almost the same replay, but it's not. He's had two of them from out there. And there's that little blank. Oh, that's not gonna work. Right into the hands of Reynolds. And the big man's going to Villanova very good at it. Not over dribbling, but just enough with a purpose. There's a post up and Robinson Earl can't get the soft up. That's Rosen. Got that one at Villanova last year. The game was at the Wells Fargo Center. No games there this year. All of them here on campus. It's Finneran Pavilion. Samuels, quick hands, quick thinking from the seat of his pants, and now back the other way. Goes the other way too. And Daniels just all over the floor right now. Trying to come up with the loose ball. Third time of the lane out into the corner. So good possession, bad possession, defensive rebounding wise. Watch out. Oh boy. When you come at somebody driving right towards the hoop, they have to react. And now the quick hands on the outside from Mabo. To the middle. There you go. Just finish it off. He elected not to go at the timeout. He walked with purpose toward the scorer's table and then turned around. Seton Hall, five wins against Villanova since the Big East realignment. That's the most of anybody in this conference. And a miss from in close. Kevin Willard wanted a call just then. And more. You sound like you've played this game. Well, that one's an easy one right there, but not a lot of teams use it. Samuels fell back on the shot and missed it. Chance to get within one or tie. That's telling us neither was as long as that attempt. No, that was a three, three feet longer. Good block out. Simple but fundamentally sound there for Mamu. Four minutes into this second half. The opposition. It's a matter of just executing. Yeah, go, go. no surprises whatsoever. Just keeping your head, and I think turnovers are the key. And this team does not turn it over that often. They're so poised with the basketball going over. Lesby got caught in the lane. Now another try at it. Oh, that's not getting there. That's a weak bounce pass. He knew it. Fouled on his way down the lane. He's four three go. Neither team is led by more than five in this one. There's that mismatch again. And this time it worked. They got it inside. But Robinson Earl couldn't hit it. Three for 11 from the floor tonight. Quick hands by Slater. A statement on the way to the hoop right there. He sure did. Gillespie was trying to get in there to take a charge too on him. Oh, travel, travel, travel. Nobody coming to get him. That is what shows you how his head is in the game all the time. So here's the extra dribbles. Notice the body action. Now he has the feel, another feel, and boom, he can just drift away with separation. He's going to make it. More spinning and dishing. Good reaction by Mamu. And Slater. Mamu down the lane. He can use that. Game. Especially using that right hand. Robinson Earl wants to go one on one here. Instead, he throws through to Swider. Here he comes. Now, Roden has been quiet after a big first half. Mamu again from the top. Got it. Actor defensively. 32% from three for the year. Tonight, it's 75%. One point game. And he's got the small versus big matchup here. Nice help, though, by Molson. Don't keep leaning, Mamu. He's going to go by it at some point. There you go. Not 
not a shot. Foul call on the floor. So here's the two-man set. You think it's going to be the, the perimeter guy shooting it, but what happens, your big guy, no, but they knew where the shot was coming from. Got their defense set, no transition break. Quick release, a little bit of an angle to finish things off. Biggest lead of the game for going over. Offensive back. It's down to 10 now, not in a hurry, very patient. And Swider, a big offensive rebound for the Wildcats. And they'll take some more time off. There you go, nice play. And Samuel asked it. Out of the timeout. Ramu on the bench. Reynolds for three. Got it. Kevin Willard was incensed. That shot was hit by Samuels, and he got that open. Wow. Great rebound. Great rebound. Back. Two. <laughs> For the last eight, decided by no more than two points. And reaction from Jay Wright. It's funny how much more you hear when there's nobody in the arena. There's the post up. Somebody going to come help him or not? 90 seconds to go. And we're tied. Seton Hall looking for an answer now. Try to get him on the blocks again. See what they do. Oh, he picked up his dribble because more came over. He'll get another shot at it. Right pass Robinson Earl. Pretty pass inside. Looks like it's going to be possibly Roden looking. Nope, they're going deep. Oh, oh, it went through the hands of Mamu. My goodness. 